43, Dana Kirk, the head coach of the Memphis State Tigers in only his third year. Probably the biggest thing to happen to Memphis since Elvis Presley. Right. And you know what? He is a very aggressive head coach. When he took the job, he had he didn't think twice about coming and saying, I'm going to win two national championships while I'm at Memphis State. Not just one, or he didn't stop at the conference uh, championship. He went right for the Nationals. Here we go. 12 and a half minutes remaining. Memphis State up by 11. There's the rebound statistic, and Memphis State has moved out to a giant edge, thanks mainly to the work of Lee, who has 13 of those boards. Well, you'll see Louisville, they're going to be out all over the floor now, really pressing up defensively. They've got to force offensive uh, shot attempts by Memphis State. Louisville made one change during that timeout. Charles Jones, who blocked that shot, came in. Last touch by Louisville, Concho Wright. So it goes out of bounds to Memphis State. When you get your shot blocked, it's not the end of the world. You see that one got blocked. Phillips goes right in after it. Almost got it and put it back in. However, they do retain possession. Mark sets up the out of bounds play. The Philippines didn't play that one off the glass, which is unusual. But they save it again. Parks kicks it outside to Jackson. That seems to be where Parks really does the job on the boards. He hangs out there at the wing position. He's the one that generally comes up with that long rebound in the middle of the lane. Inside. Tremendous timing and leaping ability. Parks making his move. Lee with the rebound. Phillips with the next tip in. And they are really going after it. Eric Smith and Phillips really hustling under the boards. Well, I'll tell you what, Derek Phillips took a little shot right in the face from Derek Smith. And, he, and turned the other cheek, look like. He did. Well, it's, it's real smart on his part. You're going to see all the action inside. Now, believe me, when you've got five, six guys, six, eight, six, nine strong, going up and making contact like that, tempers are going to flare. Phillips did a great job of not letting his temper get away from him. However, they are going to let him sit on the bench just for a second. Gary Taylor comes into the game for Memphis State. Haynes takes the inbounds pass to Jackson. 11-point lead for the Memphis State Tigers. Louisville and NCAA birth. Louisville's in the zone. Now they're going to go back to man and man I, I, I think I would have just passed the ball around the zone and once again taken a chance to get a little rest uh, for my players who don't get a chance to come out of the ball game. Now how's that for a move for a 6'10 guy? 21 points for Keith Lee, 13 rebounds. Garrett Smith trying to drive the baseline. Lee gets possession on him, so he has to send it back outside. Ross Court, Poncho Wright, off the glass. Well, Poncho's going to see a lot of playing time in the, in the remainder of the ball game. Down 11 points, they need that uh, perimeter jump shot. Jackson, guarded closely by Wright and also by Gordon. And manages to get it across the center line with no problem at all. Well, you see the maturity of, which is unusual for such a young ball club. Right into the offense now. Otis Jackson running the show. Haynes inside to the big man. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Little high five action there for the Memphis State Tigers. They've got it going their way right now, but don't celebrate too soon, Memphis State. Louisville's the second half ball club. Poncho Wright picks up the personal foul. You'll see it. The good pass inside. Lee establishing position. The foul was down on the legs. Knocked him off balance. He heard the whistle. Continued with the shot. Converts the three-pointer. 